we might lose two guys here. Oh! Okay. But this guy's gonna move, right? Nope. Alright. He's dead. Oh, you missed your shot. Well, that's really bad because now that I can't use that trooper this turn. And she's dead anyways. No! Oh, these damn thin men. everyone it's Thackard and welcome back to more XCOM Enemy Unknown. I do love this game I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. So we have shot down our first alien spacecraft and we have gotten that wreckage and we have killed the guys inside and now we are kind of building up our base the thing that we haven't done in our first couple of episodes is get out of a single episode with everyone alive. Hopefully today will be a change to that. All right. Situation room. Mission control. Let's scan for activity. Access lift operational. All right. So our lift is completed. So let's go over here where you're going to need some new power systems. So what we're going to do is excavate this so we have access to the steam. Because if we look here, power generator costs 60 to build. And it gives us six power. And it gives plus two from adjacent facilities. The thermo generator costs 200 to build. But it gives us 20 power. And it also have set same set of uh, adjacency bonuses. So we really want to get that up and running. One thing that I talked about last time that we can take care of here is we need a little bit more money. We don't have that 200 that we need to build that thermo generator. One thing we can do is go to the gray market. Several members of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. So what he's saying is, if we sell stuff, we might not be able to do research that requires those items. Now, things that say that they are damaged, we can get rid of at any point. They are worthless to us, except they will give us some cash if we sell them to people. So that will give us 50 towards our 200 that we need. Now, we need a little bit more to get up that 200, and we do have a lot of sectoid cor corpses here. We'll monitor that contact, but, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Thank you, Central. But we don't want to get rid of too many of these because otherwise we won't be able to do our research. But if we go over here, we, you know, say change project, uh, project, you can see exactly how many sectoids we're going to need for the autopsy. We're only going to need one sectoid corpse for this autopsy and only one Thinman corpse for that autopsy. Now, later on, we might need some more, but we're also going to be killing some more, too. So we're going to... The artifact we're about to sell to the council hasn't been examined by the research yep. team. I'm sure Dr. Volland would be disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development. She will be disappointed in me. That's okay. We're going to uh, sell off 18 and leave one sectoid corpse to do an autopsy on and one Thinman corpse to do an autopsy on. That will give us 100 credits and put us above where we will need for that thermo Nothing generator. at the moment. Boards are clear. All right, let's advance time a little bit. Alien containment is about to finish. All right, uh, assign new construction. We can't do anything yet until this excavation is done. We could. This is where we're going to build our satellite uplink, but unfortunately, we don't have that power for it yet. One of the things that we might be able to do, since we know we're going to be building a set of four satellite uplinks here, so they're getting bonuses off of each other, we could start to excavate this area as well. But I think, I think we will 
put off doing that for right now. Because we do have some spaces that we can build into, so. Mission control. We do have a council report coming up. Hopefully we'll get another We're mission soon. Transmission from the council. Coming on screen. Okay. All right, so we have two options here. We can either do slingshots or we can do a random council mission. Slingshot is the uh, DLC for the game, for the original game. This came out before the expansion uh, Enemy Within came out, and it is a series of three missions, I believe. Uh, they are a little more difficult, but they do give you very good items at the end of it. Um, for right now, because we've had such a rough time and we don't even have a core group of people yet, I'm going to do a random mission. All right, our mission here is a bomb disposal mission. All right, aliens are setting up bombs in an area. We will get four scientists, some panic reduction, and 146 as our reward. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. All right. This will be our crew. Let's go do it. Dropship has arrived. The next deployment site is in the UK. Oh, the mausoleum. Okay. Strike one. We detected what looks like a plasma bomb in a cemetery of all places. If I had to guess, I'd say the aliens intentionally picked the most centralized location they could find. If we don't disarm the weapon before it reaches full power, the surrounding city will be completely wiped out. Our okay. sensor readings indicate that the device is some sort of priming mechanism. The aliens are transferring power from it directly to the bomb itself. Disabling this power node should give you more time to find and disarm the explosive. New objective received. Okay, so somewhere out here, more than likely way in the back, there is a bomb. I don't think there's the border. It's probably like right in this area. And it's going to explode in three turns. So that's a long way to go before it explodes. But what we can do, what they were saying, is if we go up to here and we use one of these... That will give us an additional turn in which to get to where we need to go. So it has a time limit for us. Plus it has these things that we kind of have to hide out around when we're disarming them. And they are, let's just say they're not the greatest of cover. All right. You are awesome at shooting. So let's get you over here reveal a little bit, little bit more right, so there's a new thing over there there's also one up here like to dash this far what if there's someone right in this corner if there's someone right in this corner we'll die we could dash up here and be a little bit safer and we would still have a lot of place to use our rocket from too all right this corner is clear we're going to actually use this guy and we're going to move him into this position he's under better cover uh, generally, if I remember, there are usually guys in this area and back here as well. So I'm not going to separate our group. Just going to move her over here into some cover. As you can hear, the pitch of the bomb has changed. It's sped up some because there are only two turns left. What we are going to do is we're going to click on this guy. 
As you hear the... Seems you bought yourself some time, but you still need to hurry, or... Well, you know. The pitch of the weapon got slower again, so it's kind of this audio thing of, oh, see, you are doing better. You're not completely dead yet. All right, let's move our assault. He can go up here. And he can turn this one off. Good work. That'll buy us a little more time. But you still need to find that bomb. Yep. Let's take the risk and push this guy up to here. All right. We're going to push around this right side. We might see some people inside. All right, he got, she got in safely. All right, move him up. We have three turns again. Move him up so we can peek around this corner better. Nothing right in our line of sight. Most likely there are probably some people in here too that we can't see. Pushing up a little further. Weapons free. All right, we found someone. Unfortunately, or it's just one, but unfortunately we are, they can flank us pretty easily. Gonna have, all right, let's put you. They're back here. Gonna move you up and put you into overwatch. Gonna sprint this person up to here. That way we can use her to engage next turn. This guy is most likely gonna be the one who gets targeted, and you will be in Overwatch as well. You can hear it's speeding up again. Cover the flanks. Don't die. Oh, big hit. Expected though. They're trying to flank us. Can we flank this guy? If we go here, does that flank? No. If we go here, that would flank. But we are in the open. But I think we can kill him. Hit your shot! You missed the 70% shot! Oh no. That was the fear of what could happen. And, and, and then it did happen. Alright, you have... What? 92% chance. No okay, good. A threat. I'm gonna move you over here. And you will give us, once again, three turns to do stuff. Good job, and we're gonna... That should buy us a few minutes. Let's move you to this corner. Where you can... Overwatch. Just in case anyone wanders out this door. You are going to start to move up forward as well. Because we need to get to this one over here. Okay, how do we want to move you? You can't rush all the way in. I think that's the action. No, no, I don't know if that's the bomb or not. Yep, people inside. One, two, and then a third one re triggered. Thin man. We want to deal with that thin man. We'll turn this off. 
We really want to deal with the Thin Men. I'll do up to four damage, so it might take him out. Only did three. That's not great. Oh, you can take a shot through the opening. All right, we're probably going to do that, but let's put you into some cover. Can you shoot from here? I th think you can shoot from there. Seventy percent chance. Hit it. Nice, nice, nice. All right. We risk moving you into the open. Oh, that's a big risk. Um, if we put you. Mm, I want to make sure we try and keep this guy alive. We'll move our medic up. Then I'm going to deploy smoke over here to cover this guy. The reason why I'm deploying it here and not here is because it will cover that entire dome area and anything inside of that dome area gets the bonus defense, including bad guys. So if I can set this up in such a way that he's right on the edge of it, he gets the full protection, but any bad guys that move towards us won't. Clouds away. All right. There's another chargey thing over there. Uh, don't shoot my medic. No, it hit her. Oh, we were even in cover too. All right, you. All right. Where is this guy getting buffed from? Can we tell? It looks like around here. Oh, I don't think we can get close enough to be able to shoot him. All right. We're going to do run and gun. We're going to rush up to this point. Shit. I, I went through the I went through the poison. That's not good. <laughs> Alright. No, I can't shoot him, but we should be able to kill this guy. Bye bye. Unfortunately he is poisoned, which is not great. We have something here we can hit. Fifty percent chance. It's a coin flip. Didn't get it. Damn it! Enemy is still alive. Yep, noticed. Uh, seventy-two percent chance. I need to get in a position where I can heal this guy, though. That's going to be really important. I think he's gonna shoot at our heavy, maybe. Nope. Coming in from the side. I shoot at her. Just live, just live. All right, she lived. It's a grave wound because he's she's down to one health. Don't hit, don't shoot him. Please don't shoot him. Please don't shoot him. Please don't shoot him. Oh, he shot him. Commander, we're detecting an 
energy buildup in the area. That bomb is going to reach full power any moment. Well, that was unfortunate. Zero energy on that power node, strike one. I repeat, power node deactivated. Okay, you have to stay alive. You're important. Let's heal yourself. There's the actual thing. Weapon. Looks like you found the bomb. Get over there and deactivate it. We don't have, have long to get over. Commander, we're detecting an energy buildup in the area. That bomb is going to reach full power any minute now. Working on it. All right, you. There's another power node down. Moving into cover. Just want to make sure this this lady lives. She's super important. Oh, he was moving up on us. Shoot him! Oh no! He could still kill us. Actually, she's healed, so we're actually pretty good. It would have to be one hell of a crit. All right, in Overwatch. I kind of want to kill this last guy. All right, let's deactivate the bomb. There we go. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Heads up, boys and girls. Intel suggests hostiles are headed right for you. Objectives updated. Let's reload. Ready to engage. Got people dropping in. Yep. Ooh, right behind us. On Overwatch. Another person dropping in. Uh, and we're pretty badly damaged. Alright, you're in coverage. 64% chance to hit. Um, but they're overwatching, so if these guys move at all, they're gonna get shot. Oof, 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 oof. Um, please kill him. Only two damage. That's, 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 that's bad. Can you survive? I mean, I think you'll go for this lady. But you're even at risk, too. Um, 63% chance. This only does three damage, so he would definitely live. Police hit! Our weapon does up to five damage, and it only did, in that case, three against someone who needs four to die. Oh, how highly sucky. We might lose two guys here. Oh, okay. But this guy's going to move, right? Nope. All right. He's dead. Oh, you missed your shot. Well, that's really bad because now that I can't use that trooper this turn. 
And she's dead anyways. No! Oh, these damn Thin Men. All right, so we have taken some massive losses. Um, ooh, this was not a good mission. Me stinking around is probably a bad idea. Oh, we lost part of our cover. We're still in full cover. Still in full cover, though. That's a dash really. Ugh. We can always try to bail out. Let's go into Overwatch. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did that not trigger our Overwatch? Okay, yeah, there we go. Thank you. Oh, we missed. Don't hit me, please. Oh, that's a hit. Jeez, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. We gotta leave. We have to leave. We have to leave. It's gonna be a failure to our mission, but we can't lose this lady. We cannot lose our... We cannot lose our lady. Ooh, boy. XCOM, baby. It can be rough. We got to board it. Central, big sky is coming home. Mission aborted. <sighs> oh, well. That's going to give us some big negative hits. <laughs> we really wanted her because she had good stats we will be in touch commander yeah that didn't go well all right rough 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 okay let's advance time View abduction sites. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right. So we can hit, we have one in Brazil, level one panic, easy mission. We'll get a heavy sergeant, a new recruit, heavy sergeant. That might be very good because let's be honest, uh, we don't have many people right now. Nigeria, panic two, moderate difficulty for scientists. Leon, France, one panic, easy for engineers. I think this is going to be Rio de Janeiro for us right here. Picking up a guy who already has a couple levels sounds really good. And it's supposedly an easy one. That being said, we will pick it up next time. Uh, man, we, we, we've taken some, we took some big hits that time. We failed our council mission. We were able to stop the bomb. But we were not able to kill the Thin Men. Unfortunately, with the positions that we had, we got flanked right away and we lost two guys almost immediately. Um, this was our assault guy who died. He was pretty good. No longer with us. No. This memorial wall is growing rather rapidly. 
hopefully next time we can slow the progression of, you know, the dead. All right, guys. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. XCOM. Whew. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys are what makes this channel grow. So hit that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live. And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.